main rock he took the backside was my stepmom um, Christmas Day. I went home for my dinner and she was just like, what are you doing? You know, you, you've kept box for all these years, you've achieved what you've achieved and it, it's wasted, you're doing nothing with it, you need, you should be doing something, why don't, why don't you go into teaching again? So, yeah, <laughs> this is where we are. So it was the end of last year, 2003, that Tarson had the idea, and it started in January. So we started from January with, like, from nothing really. A few sponsors helped out, and the club just grown that, that quickly. So we'll be talking three, nearly four months now, and, and yeah, it's grown really quickly. Yeah, he's brilliant. You know, he's excellent. He gets the kids out, active, doing so much. You know, and he's say he's a great coach. The discipline that the kids show him and he shows the kids is second to none. When I was a kid, kickboxing was a place I could go to to sort of escape my home life and the things that were going on there. Um, I always got a good tra feeling when I was training with people. People always pushing you to do better. You know, when you're fighting, you've got all your group of people cheering behind you. It, it's a good feeling. It makes you want to win and want to push yourself better. You know, as long as the physical benefits and whatnot that come with it. So. Kid, give your kids something to do other than the youth club for a start. You know, you have to be, I think, you have to be seven to start the youth club, and it's only one time a week for an hour once a week so having somewhere you can come every night for at least 45 minutes is burning enough energy after school I can't force it you know at all. You can look all around the country statistics tell you that you get kids in a boxing club, you, 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 youth offending locally, you're drinking, you, knife crime's a big thing at the minute, it all drops. If you can get people in a contact sport, whether it be boxing, kickboxing, whatever they tend to be, any martial art, it, just lessens that crime rate in the local area amongst you, so it's a massive thing. And an area like this, a poor area, it needs these sort of things, but they need to be used for them to carry on. So the more people that come, the better it is for the area. Yeah, just I think the local areas, I think there's a lull in Chesterton. I think if you go to Longton, you've got some great boxing gyms up there. I think you've got, you know, there is a boxing gym in Newcastle. I think all around us, They've got a lot of great stuff going on, but here really it's like the place I forgot about. There's there's not a lot going on. Paul's opened this gym. He's been kind enough to you know give us the space to use, and um, you know come down. I spoke to Paul and straight away, yeah, love what you're doing. It involves the kids. It involves the community. You know, get it done. I've known Tyson years, and I know his background from fighting, which is impressive. So as soon as his classes come up, I thought, well, why not come and give it a try up here. You know, and after coming the first, second class, you know, I can see he's, you know, he's doing great for the kids. So after seeing that, I thought, you know, he needed a helping hand with the, the mats and that. So I thought I'd buy the mats for him. That's it. You know, he's, he couldn't do anything without the mats, to be honest. I like to call it energy rather than aggression. If you're full up or something, you need the release. You, you release it here, it's a safe way. We do pad work, we do sparring work, so you've seen in the sparring, everyone's covered up guards, gloves, helmets, so it's safe and you don't, we tell the kids all the time, if I turn the street it achieves nothing and people get hurt and it, it affects both people's lives if you're the one doing the, the, the assault or you're the one on the receiving end, it affects both lives negatively, if we can come here and learn and train together, and it, it, makes, it, it makes bonds that last for life, there's people that I've known from a teenager, I'm 40 this year, and I still speak to them now on the friends that I've made just from that connection. It's a, it's a brilliant thing for kids. For, for me, doing this here, I get a sense of achievement. Um, I think I, I get to train with my own son as well, which is massive for me, really. We do most things together anyway, so the fact that I can train with him as well now is a big plus. And he, he's starting to look good. Um, you know, the, the, the team spirit taking the kids to competition, you know, I think already we've done something like 50 tickets for the show in, and two tables at 10 people each so that's that's a big chunk of the community around here that's all getting behind this young group of kids and you know the other kids who come then that then has a knock-on effect because the other children that come 
it's like, well, what, did you see what they did? did? Did you see everyone cheering for him? So they they won't come and get involved. And I think it it can only strengthen. I don't. I think as long as I'm consistent in what I do and I'm teaching the right stuff and I I keep everything consistent, I think the club will only ever naturally grow when you're out doing things and, and you're seeing and you know what the kids see and the, you know look it's all them dressed in the same stuff they're the ones who won there or you know you remember we go to school with him and they're all cheering for him have you seen this video of him online it's it has a knock on effect it's good Okay, everyone got